Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Sandra from Passion Speak, where we give those with a passion a platform to speak. And this is Carnivore Over 60 check-in, number 32 after 47 weeks, and we are not doing a weigh-in. We're just temporarily changed to check-in. And that there's a reason for that. And that's part of the reason that we're going to talk today. Um, I got two things I want to talk to you. One is kind of serious. Well, they're both serious. Um, check in because for the month of October, I basically saw no change. It was up one, up, down one, up two, down two, down three, up two. It was all over the board. So forget it. Last week, um, and this is this speaks to the testimony of being your word, one, to continuing in your word. I want you to continue your word because you never know who you're talking to. You never know who God is going to use to testify to, to what they're dealing with. So last week I heard someone say, you know, I, I got uh, free of my addiction of the scales. And I was like, I do have an addiction to the scales. I really do. And is this the time to be free? So keep saying what you believe in. Keep being your testimony. Um, I, my, my, one of my groups that I hang out with, um, the Fierce Feet Lions, I still call them the Fierce Feet Lions, and that's what they always be for me. And that's Robin and G. Um, and you can look in the show notes to find them, along with Leah and Tara and Julia. Um, and they had a no scale challenge last month, which I told them to count me out. I'm in with the scales. Count me out. Well, that has changed. Yeah, you can. As it turns out, you can teach an old dog new tricks. I have gone two days without scales and it's kind of feeling liberating. So I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to be doing for now, for the time being. We'll, we'll check in later, and I'll let you know when that changes. The second thing I wanted to talk to you about is a real serious issue, and that is the issue of um, GERD and reflux. Um, as you know, if, I think I mentioned it last week, but I have been um, suffering from GERD for... 34 years. I have been on acid reflux medicine. It's called proton pump inhibitors and or PPI. And I have been on them for 34 years. Last week, I heard serious keto. His name is Steve. God bless Steve for talking about this. But he did uh, two or three YouTubes on how to and there's lots of lots of YouTubes out, out there, but God use him to reach me. So um, he did a recipe on take this two or three times a day. It includes apple cider, cider vinegar, and I'll, I'll link it down in the show notes. So I tried it and so far so good. I've gone four days, two days. I've used omeprazole. You got to realize I do not go a day without using a, um, a proton pump inhibitor. And I don't care what kind, it could be over the counter. But one of the things he did was share, he did a screen share, which I'm going to do also now, um, on the side effects of omeprazole. That's what I take. That's the, the generic brand. So let me see if you can see this. Oh, come on, internet. Talk to me. Oh, I want it back in. Back, back. Okay, I want to just quickly read some of the things. Um, Omeprazole is a non-prescription, over-the-counter, used to treat frequent, frequent heartburn. It's Nexium, it's Prilosec, it's over the last 34 years, I've used them all. Asifex, anyway, it's used to treat indigestion, heartburn, and acid reflux. Um, I want to scroll down to... Um, Scroll down to some of the things it says about it. And this really scared me. And some of the side effects. So if you take a Omeprazole for more than three months, the levels of magnesium in your blood may fall. Yep, that's what I have, low magnesium. So I'm on a magnesium supplement. 
Um, low magnesium can make you feel tired, confused, dizzy, and cause muscle twitches, shakiness, and an irregular heartbeat. If you get any of these symptoms, tell your doctor, <laughs> I did. Well, what are they going to do? Tell me to stop, take, stop taking Omeprazole? I'm like, I can't stop taking Omeprazole. Shit, it's like, excuse my French, um, it's like one or the other, either severe heartburn, that heartburn ain't no joke. Um, let's see what else can you sleep right after nope I wanted to talk about things to know side effects um, but first let's say let's read this when to stop taking is recommend to stop taking omeprazole four to eight weeks for most conditions like seriously I'm here to tell you if you take an omeprazole for four to eight weeks uh, you probably will develop an addiction to it because um just the slightest bit of pain makes you brings it all back in your memory so um headaches are side effects headaches feeling sick nausea these are side effects of taking the drug being sick vomiting diarrhea stomach pain constipation and flatulence um a lot of these have gone away with carnivore but um, the tightness and that has not gone away. So, um, what else? Here's some drugs. What else did I want to share? Um, sold under the brand name of Prilosec and Losec. I've never taken Losec, strange, but anyway. Um, National Institute of Health has something. I wanted to say, oh, when Omeprazole should, Omeprazole should not be taken um oh it apparently can interact with hiv medicines okay what else does omeprazole help with mucus in the throat yes it does i already know that what is a natural substitute for omeprazole and this is where steve comes in it says turmeric 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 the 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 yellow um um drug that not drug over it's a, a spice that you can add to your diet. Anyway, so Steve suggested a, um, a concoction and I made it and it's working. Um, and it has, I'm going to link his, his contact information and his YouTube in the notes. He talked about um, apple cider vinegar with the mother. He talked about putting some um, some Redmond sea salt in because you want a real high quality sea salt, putting in some cinnamon, putting in some lemon juice, and I forget what else is in it. And I made the concoction and I've taken it two or three days and it really helps. Yesterday, I can, I um, had some birthday cake as a part of a, a birthday that we celebrated um, among some friends and the sh that that does not work if i have sh that kind of sugar they were like you gotta eat some of this birthday cake i had a, sm a small slice if i eat that kind of sugar i'm going to have GERD if i don't take omeprazole and i did not have it oh yes not that i haven't had the side effects because yeah i had a little headache yes i had what else my arm that's i think that's the side effects from the sugar not from the omeprazole so yeah can't have sugar that's, that's self-imposed. I don't want arm aches. And that had actually, I had experienced a lot of relief from the, the RA in my arm. And so eating sugar just does not help with that. But anyway, so new goal, get off of members off, pray for me, y'all. And then check out Steve because he experienced some success. And I am too. And I that's that's gonna be that's my new thing, y'all. I'm trying. So um wish me luck and let me know what you're struggling with. Whoever's out there watching, I appreciate all of your time. And stay in the green, always in love. Bye-bye.